Hi everyone, my name is Rhonda Robson and I'm with Rhonda's Tri Artistry. I am an artist right here in the middle of the United States of America in Sioux City, Iowa. Today's gonna to be a quick video showing you how I mix my paints for my Dutch pours. I actually put them in a bottle, looks like these back here. And I just wanna show you an easy way to do it, um, utilizing a scale, your paints, and just water. That's all I use in my Dutch pours now. So let's get you down and let me show you how to do that. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. All right, thanks again for joining me today. Let's get you down. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Hi everyone. Okay, so today I'm just gonna show you how I do my consistency for my paint for my Dutch pours. So I just wanna keep this super simple for you guys. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So this is my scale that I use. It's a little dirty, sorry about that. But um, what I want to make sure that you understand is that no matter what you use, whether it's milliliters like this one is, or if you use grams, you just need to stay in that measurement. So I'm gonna use milliliters and I wanna be able to show that to you. So I'm gonna just leave it right here. And I am gonna go ahead and automatically put it in my bottles. I just happen to have some of these bottles around. I am not affiliate with this company. I just happen to be using it, um, using these bottles for today. A lot of times I'll use my tea bottles, but today I wanted to make some squeeze bottles for my Dutch pour. So, so all you're gonna need is your paint and I am using Arteza. I'm kind of looking forward to this. These squeezable ones are so much easier than the other bottles. And then um, water, that's it. So I've got a bottle of water here and I have my Arteza paint and then I also have my bottle that I'm gonna put it in and then my scale. So let's start by zeroing out the scale. So this bottle, as you can see when I put it on there, already adds weight. So we want to zero that out. I wanna get 100 milliliters in this bottle. So in order to do that, I'm gonna zero that out, okay? And then what I do is I layer water, paint, water, paint. So it mixes a lot easier that way. So I'm gonna take my water bottle, oops, sorry, bumped the camera, and I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna squeeze in here. This is hard to do is looking at the camera and watching this, but I'm gonna squeeze in here 20 milliliters. You gotta be careful because you can push down the bottle onto it and that adds weight to it. Okay, so there's 20, 20, 20 milliliters. So I've got my water in there. I'm gonna take my paint and now I'm gonna zero this out because I just wanna be consistent. I can add 30 uh, milliliters to this. That'll be a three to two ratio and that could come to 50, but I'm just gonna do this for your purposes. Let's zero that out. So now we're at zero. And then I'm just gonna take this and squeeze in 30 milliliters of paint. Okay, I got a little over. So because I have, I'm gonna put it a little more there. So because I have 35, in order to get 100, or 60 milliliters of this. I'm gonna do 25 next time since I did too much. All right, so now we're gonna zero that out and put another 20 milliliters of water. And it doesn't have to be exact, exact, but I'm just trying to get to 100. 40 milliliters, whoops, going over there. Um, 40 milliliters of water and then 60 milliliters of paint. All right, so let's go ahead and zero that out. And since I had 35, I need 25, right? Because 25 and 35 equals 60. Okay, so I got 26 now. And I had a little bit extra water, so that'll work. Okay, so then I put my cap on here and I just take it and I shake it. I always put my finger over top of it in case the cap isn't on completely. And then I just shake it. 
So, and it's not an exact science, but it's a three to two, three parts paint to two parts water. And so this is ready to go now. All right, thanks for watching. It's three parts paint to two parts water, which means I put 60 milliliters of paint in here and 40 milliliters of water approximately to get the consistency that I'm looking for. All right, thanks everyone. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.